So in 737 new gen standby power test. It's a scheduled task just to uh, check the operation and functionality of the standby electrical system. We'll run through the whole panel at a later date, but this is just handy to know on a little video, I thought. So battery on, main AC power on. Let it start up. Okay, so standby power in auto. Battery switch is on. AC and DC in standby power. So you've got DC showing there. AC showing there. Should have 400. Um, sorry, 400 hertz frequency. Plus or minus five. 110 to 120 volts AC. And if your battery's good. 22 to 30 DC volts from the main battery. Standby power switch to off. So you get a standby power light comes on which basically is telling you the standby buses are de-energised. That, that's only for smoke isolation, if uh, the crew are having sm equipment smoke, and they can kind of isolate the problem. Uh, you should have zero volts, frequency is blank. Buses are powered. Standby power switch to battery. You get AC 110 to 120. Frequency 395 to 405. And DC is 22 to 30. And because the bus is energised, the light is off. Standby power to auto. Ground power to off. AC power off. So you get in battery discharge light or come on. Yeah. Uh, just confirm with the DC meet, uh, selector, go to battery and it is discharging. Uh, volts 22 to 28 this time. And minus 22. Or just a negative value, depends. 
So AC power to on. Battery discharge light goes off. And volts 28. So it's 22 to 28. So the switches are back to normal. Put the selectors DC and AC to test. Push the maintenance test switch. Any faults will be displayed. So, uh, if you have an elect light on and you do have some faults, uh, push this, I believe, for 10 seconds, keep your finger in after the test, and it'll clear it. You'll get rid of that elect light. Bring it out of test as well when you finish. That is the end of the standby power control unit and standby power system test.